taxes are what we had to expend during the time period in order to reach our goal of revenue generation. So it makes sense then for us to be comparing our expenses, how much we had to expend in order to generate that revenue. So for example, the, the, the cost of goods sold, which is usually a higher ex expense, is usually gonna be the biggest proportion to the revenue if you were a retail store. It's, it's a lot smaller here because this is kind of a, a landscaping business, but if you were a retail store or something like that, you would expect the cost of goods sold to a, be a, a significant part of a ratio compared to the income. And again, you can kind of compare that to another store. If you were a retail store that's trying to mirror a larger retail store, you can't compare total income and cost of goods sold to them because they're gonna be bigger than you are because you're not gonna be benchmarking or trying to emulate someone that's smaller than you are, right? But you can compare the ratio. So if I look at this, it was 405 divided by the 10 to 0.77. That gives us our 3.97. And we can do that, of course, all the way down. We could say, how, how much is our advertising budget compared to our income? Does that line up to the industry standard? How much is our automobile and so on, equipment and, and so on and so forth? So, and then the, and then the net income now, down here is no longer 100% because we're taking the net income and dividing it by the income line. So the only 100% line is gonna be, of course, the total income. Now the other option, so that's the main one. That's the one that's that's the key right there that you, that you, that you're most likely uh, might run as a package of reports. But we can also do the percent of expenses. Now this one doesn't make a whole lot of sense on the on the income side of things because now you're looking at the income compared to the expenses, which is, seems kind of backwards. But on the expense side of things, you can you can think about here's uh, your expenses and think about each uh, line item in the expense compared to the total line item. So you can see the 100% now is at the total expenses. So I can go through all of the expenses and say, well, how much am I spending in comparison to everything that I'm spending? Or how much am I consuming in expenses compared to the total? So the rent, for example, which is often a fairly high one, 900 divided by the total expenses, of 5203.31 and that's going to give us our if i move the decimal two places over 17.3 percent about now we could try to do all those at the same time if i select all of these boom boom and see if i can run that so now you have all three of those and you can run you know percent of expenses percent of the column net income and the percent of income on one report so that's kind of neat however these two, like I say, are far less common than the percent of income. So most likely you're going to want to run, say, the percent of income one, which would look like that. This again, I'm going to say the percent of income, boom. And then I would call this the profit loss. I'll change it to an income statement vertical analysis. Now analysis something like that on the title would be a common change. And then also note that you could do this vertical analysis with comparative reports possibly as well, or, or report multiple periods while including the vertical analysis, right? So, so I might say, uh, if I'm giving my reports to somebody, do I want to give them an income statement and this statement, which is a vertical analysis, or maybe I give them a very simple uh, income statement that is collapsed income statement that doesn't have all the subtotals and then I give them this income statement which has the percent of income column on it or I can say maybe I also include some comparative reports with this percentage of income if I hit the drop down here I could look at it by quarter for example as we saw in a prior presentation but now it's showing each quarter giving us both the line items and the percent of income for for each of them and it gives us the total for for the entire year and the percentage of income so this report gives you all the information as the total income statement did plus it gives you a breakout on quarter by quarter and the percentage of incomes of each as well as the total so so you got to think about well is how would I group my reports? Maybe you want to give them a simple income statement that is a summer income statement, maybe then an income statement that has has a has a percentage 
uh, to it, or maybe you give them the bigger report like this that has some comparative information, or possibly you give them all of the reports, right? And you take them along every step along the way. So we run into the same concept of when you're providing the reports to the clients, you have a whole lot of options in terms of what package or bundle of reports that you want to be providing, which will possibly differ on a month by month, quarter by quarter, year by year. You might have different bundles of reports for January than you would for the end of the year, clearly December, and you might have different reports that you might wanna focus in on at the end of each quarter versus the end of each month. And in uh, a lot of the thought you might put into that is, uh, how do I want to be presenting these comparative type reports? Because the combinations of reports that we can do now that we have these tools of a vertical analysis and a horizontal analysis and multiple periods comparing the current period to the prior period and all that kind of stuff means that you have a whole lot of different uh, combinations, a lot of different combinations. All right. So I've emphasized that enough. Let's go back to the total run it again we would probably want to customize this thing like we normally do so we can customize up top we can say we want to remove the pennies negative numbers bracketed and then show them as red and then on the header and footer we can take out the date the time and the report basis and then run it so now we have it there income statement vertical analysis and so that looks good and then of course we might want to save it we might want to save the customization, put it into a group of some kind, possibly month and reports, and then add it, boom, and then save it, bam. And then we can go to that first tab over here, go down to the reports on the left-hand side, custom reports, and there it is our vertical analysis that we can generate at month end.